Welcome to Fun Size Fiction. Treat your ears with tiny tales, written and read by Renee Canolti. That's me. And here's this week's story. Coffee Connections. 27 different voices bubbled around her, several conversations going on at once. Toddlers waddled into the playroom and babies slept in prams. Tanya stood, gathering everyone's attention as the waiter came to the table. I'm shouting your first drink. She knew that most of them came for the free coffee, but she hoped they would make new connections in the process. That was her job as a family liaison officer, to help other military wives make friends. If only she had some friends of her own. Alice leaned closer. Thanks for the coffee. No worries. How are you settling in? Tanya pushed a smile onto her face. Really well. I'm still looking for work, but the kids are keeping me pretty busy. Alice sipped her coffee. My son moved out last month. They grow up so fast. Tanya sank back into her chair. Maybe she could coordinate more weekend events to fill those long, empty days. Absolutely. Though I can't wait to be done with the toilet training. They both laughed. Thanks for organising these social events. I've met the nicest bunch of women in the choir group. You ought to come along too. Oh, I can't sing. Tanya shook her head. That doesn't matter. There's no audition. It's all for fun. And there's as much socialising as singing. Actually, it's not that I don't want to come. I'm not allowed to because of my job. You ladies are classified as my clients and I'm supposed to maintain professional boundaries. That sucks. Yeah, I love my job though. And I love helping you all make friends. Tanya popped a single serve of leftover pasta in the microwave, sipping red wine as the bolognese circled under the yellow light. She ate her meal in silence, then poured another glass of wine and turned on the TV. Voices of people she'd never met filled the room, the closest thing she had to friends. Only three more months until her husband came home from deployment and her son promised he'd visit next weekend. Come on, old boy, she patted her leg and the golden retriever jumped up on the couch beside her. She stroked him as he rested his head on her lap, the only living being she'd had physical contact with since her husband left for the Middle East. The cooking show featured recipes that were too much trouble for one. The comedy was too funny, and the drama too sad. Bedtime, she wriggled out from under the dog, brushing long strands of hair from her thighs. Sam, down. His floppy ears rested on the couch, his body completely still. Sam? She wrapped him up in his dog blanket dragged him to the laundry and fell asleep on the cold tiles beside him. Back aching and tears streaming down her cheeks, Tanya tried to haul the blanketed bundle into the boot of her car. The bulky weight slipped from her grasp, thudding on the concrete. Tanya stretched her shoulders and stared out into the street. The grumpy woman from next door was checking her letterbox. Bronwyn turned to walk back inside when her gaze met with Tanya's. Her face softened as she approached. You okay, love? Tanya looked down at the bundle by her feet. Don't have to worry about Sam barking anymore. Her voice hitched. Or loud music. Or... Bronwyn wrapped her arms around Tanya. Shh. She rubbed Tanya's back. I've never had a problem with the noise. My marriage imploded just before you and your perfect family moved in. I couldn't cope with all the joy over the fence, so I lashed out. I'm sorry. (laughs) There's no joy here now. There will be. Bronwyn stepped back. You take his head, I'll lift his rear. The women hoisted Sam into the car. Where are you taking him? I want to bury him, but I can't dig a hole that big. The vet said they could take care of him. Tanya sniffed as another tear rolled down her cheek. You can't drive in that state. Hop in the passenger seat. I'll lock up my place and I'll drive. Tanya nodded. After, I think you need a coffee and a big slice of cake. My shout. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this story, hit subscribe so you don't miss my next fun size fiction. You can find out more about me and my writing on my website, heysaidrenee.blogspot.com.